Okay, so this session today is to carry on with updating for the new resource uh, graph, the render graph resource states. So to begin with, what I actually want to do is like, I do want to add these, but I also need to still have the old stuff available so I can make a softer transition than doing such a hard transition. So to begin with, I need this stuff to remain the old original final image states, put that in place instead. So that becomes new. Uh, and this delete key final image states. And then I just need to go through and make the modifications for all the other files. So this, like I need the same thing for the next one for copy image. Um, down about here, you delete that. Image states. Make a copy of this. Replace these with that. Let's move this down as well. Let's like this is just a thing for the return. You need to put that there. Change this to be resources. Okay. Gonna do the same thing down here. Move that down. All right. Next, let's kind of make a little copy of that here. This has one resource, so we can we only need to do this one resource. Resource state. Do that. Don't need that. And that, move that down. Okay, what do we have for the image? We're exporting. So we don't actually have an outgoing state. We just have an incoming state. So this just becomes a null pointer. Uh, we have the resource provider and the resource data. We have that is true, and we need resource management. So I'm going to create an image state. I want a copy of that. Content being uh, dot s type equals this and the layout equaling whatever that is on the way out. Otherwise, this becomes that. That converts that. Okay. And that puts it through. Okay. Import image. What do we got here? This is converted? No, yes. Almost. Okay, almost, almost. So there's no dot, there's no uh, upstream job. There is an outgoing state, which is that, which we have from here, which we brought in from there. Okay, so this is fine. That's the income, that's the outgoing state, the resource, yeah. It's making things a bit more obvious and explicit for me. Let's move that around down there. I'm missing. Uh, source count. Mm 
This is provided for that. Yeah, okay. Present image will be similar to the export. Or not? Yes. No, maybe. <clears throat> because I'm expecting it to be specific. I'm expecting it to be that. Okay. So we've got, we have... So it's this job. Okay, so I need to do resource. I need just one of those, I think, yeah. Dot layout walls. I'm expecting it to be, what was it? A, that. Okay. I need to I need to free that on the way out. So I need that that I need dot free for that sort of chain resource resources. state this is true dot p resource equals dot that when state is this and there's no outgoing state that is that okay move that down right there i did import it right so that is being deleted yeah this is not being deleted. So I need to do that. Sorry about that. Uh, the resolve image, which this will be basically the same resource states. Dot data resource states dot size. Close those up. Take this. Okay, now what is this supposed to look like? Because so, okay, so it is basically the same as this. So let's, let's do that. Source and destination, right? Yeah, okay. Resource states, resources, count that name required. Resolve, yeah, it's, so it's not required. We've got a fence if it's passed in. Moving all this stuff away. Okay. Make that a bit more of a better name. So that's these guys. 
Uh, so to the other jobs, I have the render GUI for I'm GUI here, which will have the same thing, I imagine. We'll have two, no, we have one image coming in and out, which is the color, if I recall. Just color. Just the render color target, yeah. We go down here, we got resource management, that's great. So it starts in the image states. We got two of them. We have a different error out. We have a different error code. So it starts, what, what is it? Okay, it comes out as a final layout, okay. But what is it? Compute resources, resource states. start as we inherit this from this object yeah okay hmm. okay for the moment I'll work with that I'm not happy about it Enter target, enter target, in the state zero and one, okay. And that, this moves down. Got that and that. Source, job name, file, suspense, okay. We go down to XR, swap chain, work. So this is what, just one swap chain? So it's basically a copy of mm, that regular presentation, yeah. Move that down. We have a data function, we'll have these two. Have this. I need two more of this image state, the incoming and outgoing state, something like that. Or am I always expecting it to be, it has to be a certain type, right? Import swap chain image. Oh no, this is me importing one. Okay, so I have an outgoing state. So it's this, right? This is the state that I that's coming out as. Yeah. It's that. It's a pointer. Oh, I, I need the um that. Or, no, hold on. This is the job info. Okay, yeah, I need to actually create this first. So there's no upstream job. This is the first time that this resource exists. It is read only. Because, yeah, there's no... Hmm. It's non-modifiable for the duration of this job. Have the what? Job resources swap chain image. That's that. We have the state, which is this. Uh, 
right? And then this is what we're passing through. All right, that should leave one more, which is the render scene, which is this one. This should have two render targets. No? Hmm. <laughs> In the wrong place, aren't I? Here we go, render scene job. We have the render target for the color and the depth stencil. Okay. They are of what? Oh no, this is a render pass. So they could be any combination. Okay. How do I deal with that? If I don't actually care about what state they're coming in or leaving as, then I guess I could just leave like input and output as null pointers. So it could be like, whatever you want afterwards. It could be whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. I need two. So we have the render, color render target dot whoever provides that. We have the color render target dot that. This is a null pointer. This is also a null pointer. And the same thing here and here. It's a depth render target. We have the two resource states. Get rid of that. Is there a free data function? Yes, there is, but it's for this, which is kind of temporary. I think, okay. At this point, as long as I'm getting all the data in correctly, okay, it's not breaking, is it? And uh, let me turn off XR. Okay, it's not broken yet. It still should be in not great state. So what's going on downstream jobs? Okay, when I'm adding the import image, I'm giving it the job info with the resource state. Just that and that, okay. We're down to this point. And there's no upstream job here. What I need to do is if um that if it's null handled then continue so for example is said resources, is importing said resources. So in that case, we can, we just kind of skip the up upstream job stuff. Is there a reason for the downstream job? No, I don't think, okay, whoa. It just kind of freaks out. Because, Color, target, no state. Really? So, hold on. 
particular target no state. I'm not setting a state. These right here. Cool. Um, okay, whatever. I mean, they'll be gone soon enough, but not quite yet. No, that wasn't it. Did I do something else? Did I miss copy? No, okay. 1452. Okay. Uh, color target, no state. I mean, you're right. So who did I get this from? From the import image render job. Really? Yeah, okay, I see. I did remove it from here. And okay, did I do it for anything else? Nope. Nope. I didn't have one. No. No. Okay, so no for all the others. I'm passing the state around, the old state around still. So if I double check that, yes, it's great. Okay, let's kind of put this here, stage that. Okay, so at this point, what do I want to do? I want to start making modifications to the render graph here. So close all of this, go to the render graph, and either I want to start validation or I want to start kind of figuring out these. Like just figuring out the you know the points to insert the transitions resource transitions here. Hmm. Okay. So Post transitions or pre tra Okay, let's start on the, the back sides. Four, let's say. Auto response and resource. We're going through the resource states that we have. I need to grab the render graph downstream job data because I'm currently sitting in the job. I want to know who of all my of of people consuming my uh, resources downstream, like what are the states that they're expecting it to be in, and then I can figure out like based on that and what state it is now, and like whether or not they are read only or not jobs as well as well if the resource is mutable. Can I do I try if do I transition them now and then to do that? Okay, yeah. Star no const star job start off with null pointer. We go through four auto const and downstream job. We're gonna go through three job downstream jobs. We want to go through and we want to find if stream job 
dot resource data dot p resource is the same as the resource dot p resource. So it matches. This is the down. This is the this is the resource that I'm providing, and someone's consuming it. We found. If it was a read only or it's being consumed by multiple, I will have already validated earlier up here that they are all the same or they all expect the, the resource to be in the same state. So, yeah, if that, then p downstream job equals n downstream job. We break out here. So we're down here. If downstream job is no pointer no consumer on this job we continue don't break we continue on to the next resource otherwise um don't exactly know the logic on how to do this quite yet, but what I will do is I will do a log of, I don't have logging, do I? No, I do not. Put that here, go log. Um, OVK graphics. Go log level verbose. resource the jobs blah and blah so first of all we need the resource dot dot Yeah, that's a problem. I don't know how to get the name out um, of a resource because, oh, no. They'll be all different, won't they? They'll be like, uh, the image resource, and presumably all the other resources will be kind of like weirdly. Same thing with is mutable. I don't know how to read it in a common form. Okay. Resource, uh, and we have down P. At least I know how to read that. And downstream job. Uh, dot name. I know how to do read those ones. The pointer. I can do that. Hmm. I want to see like how this is actually going to. So let's see. Post transition for resource between. Oh, because again, this is only happening when there's a command buffer to fill. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I at least have three D render scene to that. Render image to back buffer to the I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass the final image presentation. So, okay, let me work on the resource on getting the resource name in the common format. 
having these here isn't really great. What I realistically want would be to have How do I add a, a resource? I just kind of don't. I kind of have it integrated into this. And I'm just spitting stuff back out, aren't I? Like when I add a image, I'm just kind of creating stuff here. I'm passing it to this thing. And then I was passing the data around like this. Yeah. That's not going to work. Hmm. Hmm. Either. Hmm. No, that's not going to work either. Okay, what about, what if, no, 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 um, okay, what, if, okay, I'm thinking of, rather than kind of doing this kind of thing, I actually have like an explicit function to create, uh, to actually create a resource. Like you, okay, uh, I'll just do it. Uh, graphics export void, uh, no, code results. Oh, graphics dk render graph create resource with the render graph. You have some kind of create info, which will be okay. Struct or the graphics DK render graph. Hmm. How would that work? Size and that stuff that might work. Um, resource create info, something like that. We have an S type or whatever. What if a void star P next? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's not great, but it would work. Hmm. S type, we have P next. Then we'd have star const star for the key name. P, uh, so the name of the resource. We'd have boolean for you know if it's a mutable resource. That immediately gets rid of the, uh, these two. So that these two items are common across all image re uh, uh, resource types. And then like the image resource will be passed in via P next, I think, or no, we'd, we'd put that here. We'd have, um, Resource data. 
some void, some kind of whatever. Something like that is mutable. There we go. And then this is a thing with get path into that. Resource create info. Blah 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 blah. And then we have at the end uh, a, f a resource type of some sort, which is. So we already have job, so we need to define handle full graphics bk render grab resource. I wonder if I can create a mutable resource and then a regular resource. I think I could. Hmm. Resource versus mutable resource. I don't know. Okay, just one resource type for now. Uh, this is the thing we return. Star P resource. It'll also make things a lot more transparent. So I can actually much more easily transition this from like being the Vulcan specific to just a graphics thing. I can probably move it back to here soonish. Uh, so what, what was this? Graphics re Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, handle for now. I can, uh, where, where did I create it? Here. This would change to that. These would be state things. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. And the thing about resources is that they would be just automatic. So these would be tied to the render graph. So as soon as, if when the render graph goes, the resource information that was created for this automatically goes as well. Yeah, render graph create resource. But you can't destroy it. There's no point in destroying it as long as the render graph's around because the render graph is on a per frame basis anyways. Same thing with jobs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We have that. Mm -hmm. How do I move resource data around? It will be the first one that I care about. One, two, three, four. Five, six, okay. I did, yeah, I did, I did do that, okay. Moving all the way up to here, create, destroy, it's around here, put that there, great. Amazing. We, first of all, grab the render graph from that. Fantastic. I want to create a resource using the create info I have. Do I have a thing in the render graph for storing resources themselves? No, I do not. I don't think so. That's a, wait, that's a render graph job. No, I do not. I have that, which I might be able to work around now. Maybe. Oh, graphics PK, resource handle. Resources, 
I guess. Data. No, that's already used. Or no, it's not used. Okay, perfect. Kind of. I think. <sighs> Render graph. Um, this is the internal implementation. So the internal implementation would just be I can use standard string. The name of the resource, Boolean, if it is mutable. And then I have void star for whatever our um, yeah, void star resource data. The stuff that I bring in. Bring that in. It's a bunch of pointers, first of all. I have hmm. Not sure how to deal with this. Like, how would I clean up like arbitrary data that I, I get passed in, or is this something I leave until later? Maybe I can have a like self-destruct pointer to it. Mm, I do not know. whatever we'll just kind of keep a pointer to it for the moment uh, rather than doing anything fancy i'm creating a resource with the data so then it becomes so i need to like yeah resource there's new Standard no throw. Standard graph resource. Get the name. The is mutable. The resource data. E resource create info e resource data that's a problem for later if the new resource is no pointer then we fail to create it for whatever reason so then I need to just return I haven't I have nothing else to clean up so yeah do no result uh, error out of memory there it is Otherwise, we have it. I need to go ahead and e render graph. Um, button place back. The resource, which you just created, the new resource. Star p resource equals. I need a conversion between. Handle between handle graph resource, the object type, which is gender graph resource. In the photo, graphics UK render graph resource. Mm -hmm. Really? 
resource handle. That's correct. Render URL. Resource to handle the new success okay we create a number of resources by doing that a couple times that's how we get the resource data back that's how we also get the that on the import on the import image right we don't have that anymore we don't have that anymore either because what's going to happen instead so I have that resource management I have a result type here. Like that. Result equals oh, yeah. DK render create resource. Like that. We have dot s type doesn't matter equals I'll handle for the moment p next I don't care p name equals p resource name dot is mutable equals is mutable well p resource data equals end of this not great yet but I have that and then I can get the render something handle render resource handle that okay if um value not equals so success then we need to do a couple things first of all we need to call free data function and then we need to return results is there anything else we need from here? Not really. That's deleted there. That's a new resource. So what's wrong with you and, and that, right? We got that. Now this is the thing we want to pass around for this. Instead of image resource, we want the now commonly usable handle it's no longer a pointer technically it's this resource
Same thing would go on here. Like that. I mean, it's effectively a pointer for all intents and purposes, but it's an opaque one. Probably going to need to do something similar for states as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, but in the grand scheme of things, what this will allow to happen, if I roll back down to this, and I say, hey, you know, this is a whatever. I got the resource. Resource. I can do this, where I say, hey, I know, I, I, I may not know like all the resource details, but I know that first structure is going to be the thing that has the name and has is mutable. So I can do auto star p resource equals render graph resource from handle. And it's going to be from resource dot resource. Ah. This is render graph resource. Okay, I can actually do let's do that. I know the internal state of that. I can do that. Sorry, is it the handle? No, it's it's literally that. Pointer for that. That's no that that's still doable. P resource equals dot resource. Got that. We got that again. And then all the way down here, we don't even have to do this. We could just do uh dot p resource uh name perhaps that's not quite gonna work right off the bat because all the others need to change now Okay, okay. Lit image. Right. Render graph, defining from structure. Resource structure. Will that work? I think that'll work. So I need to get a, uh, I need to be handed a handle for that. Resource. And then I needed something similar for resource state structure, I think. I'm not entirely sure on that one. Okay, hold on. We'll just make a copy of it. Find resource structure. Something like that. Okay. Back to lid image. So we're being doing this. We got a resource. Yeah. Uh, 
let me just make sure I actually have this available. Resource structure. I also need to be able to retrieve the name and the immutability of something immediately from the resource itself. Render graph. Graph resource from handle from the resource handle void star p data equals p resource resource data starts a little bit earlier uh it's not quite that it's this Turn const of that, okay. Just const all over the place, basically. That's just reusing that type. Yeah. Okay, back to blit image. Got that. We have, yeah, okay, so I already need to. So after I create a resource, let's move this up a little bit, shall we? So you can grab a specific structure from resource because you're looking for to make sure it's compatible for whatever reason. Or I can at least make sure that it exists, even if I don't give it back to you. Maybe, no, no, because you need to have the data pass back to you so you can use it for like you know figuring out extents of an image and stuff. No, you still need that data. Dang. Okay, photographics export. This we have to char const star. No, realistically we want to pass back. You know what? For now I'll just do this. Get resource name from resource. And we can get like is mutable. Something like that. Okay, magic. We go to wherever this is. Return p resource uh, name. Stop the string for a moment. Okay. So back to this, we want to if. Um, if that, okay, we move all the way down here, we have this resource. 
resource resource and resource okay so not too bad What am I doing? This can be done separately. Hold on. This very much could be done separately. Uh, Okay, what I actually want to do is I want to kind of do this separately first. I want to have, okay. Can I commit what I have here? Okay, let's... Hmm. Let me do this. Work in progress. Commit what I already have there. Kind of do these separately as a separate thing. Yeah, okay, that'll make that'll make my life a little bit easier. Almost a little bit easier. Um get stash. This is still in the rework render graph relationships. Okay, that's great. Good. Copy. Dash. Pop. Okay. Great. Let's kind of do this. All right. This is still be going on looking at the old one, which is that. We also have okay, just reset this. Yes. Yes and yes. Don't actually care about so this, this, and this. What we got going on in here. So I'm gonna reset these three. To make it easier on my life, I'll come back to those in a second. First of all, yes, I have this. This is incoming. This is good stuff. Down here, we're doing that still, and we're also still doing that. Okay, and down here, we just don't have this at all. This is coming in, that's great, and that's it. Okay, so that's being removed. That is still here, that's being added. Uh, we're not quite adding logs yet here. Unstage those. All right, this is a new stuff. That's new stuff, that's that stuff, okay. Mm -hmm. New resource handle, that's been converted to a handle. What is this? This is still that way, okay, I can work with that. So it's not that, it's now this, the handle. Maybe quite, mm, yes. It's a pointer list. Fine. Close all that so I can actually save whatever. 
override it. I don't care. Great. We got that. We got that. Yeah, yeah. This is pretty much as expected. So we're here now, down for resource. Great. Let's write this back. Find render uh, resource structure. Same thing there. Is mutable for destination image. I believe this should exist in here. Yeah. Clicking a handle. Those are handles. That's a handle. What's not a handle? You're a handle. Dot resource, right? There we go. Go on down here. Right, next. Resource structure, resource structure. I'm thinking of changing that. Resource structure, we do all that. This is now that. This is a resource. Dot resource. This is now up there instead. That's why, okay, this is good otherwise. Dot resource. It's no longer const. Resource. Okay, what's this? P swap chain resource. Um, this is a presentation image. Oh, up here is the create is the import of the image. Down there is the actual presentation. That's right. That's why. So we created that. Okay. Oh, and craft resource handle. I have full results. Results. Okay, render graph. Create resource. Resource CI. Um, 
box type with the normal handle dot pmix pointer dot name equals resource name dot is mutable. Okay, is always mutable. I guess it's always considered mutable. Mm, resource data equals and of that. Okay, that's gone. That is gone. Successful free data function. Confirm results. This equals swap chain resource dot p chain resource. Hold on, that could be shortcutted, right? Oh no, this is a different function, right? P swap chain data. This is getting the type VK swap chain. Which is that, right? Which I got up here, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Piece, okay, I'm swap chain resource. Dot resource. P next. am I looking for here? I don't understand what I'm supposedly doing here. I guess I'll just kind of do this. That'll be the same, right? I hope. Okay, next. Destination image that okay. Get resources mutable okay. Uh, this is now no longer cons. That's no longer cons. That's a handle. Resource. All uh, right, can we move on down to this? Same thing, resource, resource, uh, it's no longer const. Now that dot resource, move on up to here, resource structure, resource.
Okay. We move on down to the swap chain. Resource. I need to create the resource here. Force it's mutable. It's an image resource, so let's end that. Create resource, new graph. Not successful, free data function, call that, then return result. Otherwise, we're carrying on with all of our stuff down here. That this becomes a swap chain resource. Moving on down to render scene. Okay. That, that handle. Resource, dot resource. Make all this a little bit easier so it becomes got that, we got that. We're making sure. This stuff is all mutable. Same thing for dip. Make sure they're mutable. Make sure all this is still going great. Okay. Uh, I've missed something somewhere, no doubt. Let's have a look. Got a few uh, things which are. What's this downstream job? Yes, this is resource. Okay, hold on. What am I providing down here? Right. This is the resource data. This P resource is a handle, right? No, this is the actual raw resource. Resource state. Downstream job data, which is here, which is uh, okay. No, it's literally for, should be a pointer to this. So it's that. So it's literally that by itself. Crap. <laughs> I'm missing the data that I was supposed to bring along with this. Crap. <laughs> 
crap, crap, crap. Okay, roll that back. Roll that park back. So resource state, resource handle. So it's this is this again. Okay. So it's that. Whoa, nope, 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 nope. Render graph, nope. No, this is good. Time GUI. Down to the swamp chain. That's good. No, that wasn't good. No, that's good. It will be good soon. Okay, uh, I'm hoping it's really not about to break right now. Oh, that was quick. That was close. Great. It's in good shape still. So I got this entire thing for adding that. I don't really have a great way of passing in the resource upstream job quite yet. Oh, I, and I'm not, uh, I'm not leaking memory, right? Ooh. I am from where from here right yeah yeah because when I destroy I'm not actually destroying resources when I destroy myself create, create that there we go Go through that, uh, go through these. Delete the resource. And then we're back to just XCD, which is great. Okay, now we're good on the memory leak stuff. I'm just going to add this stuff as it is. Almost. Almost. Because where is it? Find structure. That doesn't really make much sense. Where was the uh, one for this? That's that. And okay, this. This is what I'm looking for. I, I just want to provide the first one. Oh, graphics resource handle. Get Topo Graphics VK Render Graph. Get Resource Data. So we just return the first one, whatever it is. And then you can search through that to find it. Yeah, I think so. Uh, 
return, feed resource, resource data. There it goes. That'll be a bit easier than the other thing. That means now I have to go through the jobs again and return. That and that, because we're doing, what was it? Get resource data that. Get that, look at that. Just close up again. Do this again. Okay, okay. Nothing here, nothing, oh, well, yes, there is. Uh, there will be another location or two, such as here. And in here. Maybe not, okay. much right we're back to here again no memory leaks great so Do manage handles. All journaling. Common goes down the front. She has names and It's accessible type, accessible. Is there anything I can really do about? I think there is. 
just before I do something like that, render graph, the old resource type, which is this, render graph, resource old. I want to do this to old. Oh, that's used in a lot of locations. I'm not going to do that quite yet. Okay, now that I have that, I want to get uh, merge the other one, the resource render graph. Yeah, we have that, and we want to add that. No, 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 we want that to stay the same. Except the current. That's going for the render graph state type. Uh, okay, so that's one. Now I just gotta go through and job data I think I need both but downstream job data is becomes that instead and it's not that it's render graph resource or actually no it'll just be a pointer for that Yeah, it just becomes that instead. Um, need to go to the incoming type and resource. That's uh, render from Windows. I believe it'll be the same thing up there as well. Next. Mm -hmm. Easy merge overall. So we go on down to here. We got that. So this state now becomes the new image resource. Okay. Yeah, that. Resource is this now. This thing, that. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll merge continue with that. Do out the that. It's not quite what I was hoping for. Um Not exactly what I was hoping for, is it? Yeah. Um, hmm. I should have aborted the merge. Let me uh, figure this out. So that I get one string again. I don't like having merge messages. Because they're not really necessary. Okay, so there we go. I just had to uh, do a rebase going the other way instead. So now I should have just just a number of changes for the resource state stuff. Yeah. Okay, so clear that. Get that temporary branch. Now, back to render graph. I was here, I had the upstream job kind of stuff done. So that means moving on down to here, I should have, I do not actually have, did I just lose it? I think I may have just lost it. Okay, um, the job resources, uh, states. job down street jobs if this downstream job is using the same resource as these out that then yeah yeah something break mm -hmm. Downstream job is that. Okay. Oh, log. Okay, now I can do the oh. yes. log level, verbose. Um, 
and slash and blah. Okay, now I can at least get the um That dot C or just that, right? That works, yeah. Uh, P job name and P downstream job name. Please tell me I can do this. And I need logging, right? Let's do this down to about here. So it's gone through the entire render graph, spits out all these logs. Render scene to that, that, to that, that, that. Oh yeah, all that work just to be able to get a name out of the out of the uh, resource in a common fashion. Like an hour. Okay. And what about free transitions? How do I do this? Okay, it's just kind of like for job resource, basically. I feel like I need to do the same thing. So I'm going to go through the resources on each job twice. To figure out stuff. Render graph, blah, 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 P, upstream, job. If, ooh, it equals. Job resource. I need to go through the upstream jobs and make sure. Hmm. Yeah, I'd have to go through the upstream job, go through its resources to find its outgoing state. So I did a comparison of that to that. I need to do a comparison between this and this, I guess. Unless I can figure it out. Um, mm -hmm. This is a pain to my bra brain. Pain to my brain, for sure. Okay, fine. I have to go through, for now. Go through each of those. Then I in each of those, I need to go through if um, or I need to go through its resources. And in this case, I need to go through like that. I need to say if uh, 
and I need to say, hey, key upstream job equals and upstream job dot just, just itself, right? Break out of that. Okay, if he stream job is not a pointer, continue. Otherwise, uh, I put some logging stuff right here. We transitioning resource that between job and job uh, between. Stream job and that. Okay, let's have a look at that. Pre transitioning rendered image between that and that. Post transitioning that to that. Pre, okay. Okay, not quite there. Okay, okay. Let's go back and have a look at... Okay, when I get to the render 3D scene, there should be jobs. Okay, I should be adding stuff for... CPP. We, okay, I've imported an image, a uh, couple images, and I want to put them into this. Where render scene job? At what point? Like I'm, I'm into here. I don't have an incoming or outgoing state. And therefore, what's probably happening but I still have I still have where it's coming from though, but I don't have it as resource state either. okay. I see. I need some kind of flag or something to say like whether or not like it's I think. Okay, can you please stop giving like okay, thank you. Pass all the standard function stuff. We do that, we do this, great. We're we're down to here. That's right. This is the point that I care. I'm in here. I'm going through the two resources. I get a resource state, I get a resource. Great. I have this. I add the rendered image. The resource. Which I got in rendered image, right? Which is okay. So it's definitely a resource in there. I just don't have an upstream for it. No, I do have an upstream for it. I have the upstream job, even if I don't actually have the state for it. But I didn't actually care about the state. It could be whatever it is. And I would supposedly be able to deal with it. 
All right, all right. Cool. Let me just uh, cancel those breakpoints and move down here so I can have a look at this side. Let me, make, let me get to the point where it's the job I care about. Render 3D scene. Okay. I have two resources. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I find the job. Perfect. Import rendered image to. Wait, so it's working? Wait, hold on a second. Was I, was I just blind? I can't read? Uh, carry on. Rendered image. Here they are. Okay, pre-transitioning from that to that. So I import the regular image. that to the 3d scene great great then i do that to the back buffer pre the post is coming before the pre unless this is the pre Uh, pre transitioning on job from that, then post transitioning resource after. Going to that. Okay. So before that, from okay, I got that the wrong way, right? Yeah. Pre transitioning before job from that job going to the downstream so it was correct i'm just blah i i can't my my brain is fried rendered image before that from the upstream from that upstream before that, from the upstream to that, going downstream to that, from that, after that, going to downstream, that. Okay. So now I have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do. I need to figure out a number of cases, but that is not going to be tonight. Because I've already spent way too long on this so far. So until next time, cheers.